All right, part four, um, truck mounted brake equipment. A, the TMX truck mounted brake equipment, safety procedure warning, regular yard and shop safety procedure must be followed when working on this assembly. Informing any test work on the device equipment while they're on the vehicle or on cars or etc. Special precautions must be taken to ensure the vehicle movement will not occur, which could result in injury to personal damage to the equipment. The use of an air jet, which must be less than 30 psi to blow the parts clean and blow them and dry after the cleaning with the solvent part cause particle of dirt or droplets of the cleaning solvent to the, be airborne. Wire brush may also be caused the particle of the dirt and rust and scale to become airborne. These conditions may cause skin and air ir irritation. Personal eye protection gloves will be worn before any, any work on the device and the components um, per parts to avoid personal injury. Assembly may use the spring loaders to exercise caution during the assembly so that no parts fly out and cause bodily injury. All air supply of the device and or to components parts with must be cut off before this device any compartment part is removed from the equipment range. Brake cylinder slack adjusters assembly with the user under spring load with extreme caution must be taken when working around and removing the, you know, the slack adjuster and since the inverting operation of the trigger mechanism may cause severe bodily harm cause it must be taken during the disassembly both brake cylinders and slack adjusters to prevent personal injury from the parts that they may fly out. When applying releasing air pressure to the assembly all personnel must stand clear to minimize the potential and bodily injuries from moving parts. Prior to Removing any of the TMX components, all, all air must be depleted with the guard against the personal injury with the movements of any of the parts. After any of the work is performed of this, uh, of this assembly, an operational test must be performed to ensure the unit of the truck the total car braking system operates intended before the car is released for service. <coughs> One checking the adjusting piston travel. To refer to the car badge plate, the piston travel indicator DS decibel to determine the proper operational range for the piston. Apply the air brake cylinder measure the piston travel. See the figure one. If the correct piston travel is not obtained, see figure one. Readjustment must be done. All right, this is your TMX brake. Um, your slack adjustment trigger, slack adjuster cl tr trigger clevis. Um, around your cylindrical flange steel nut on the control rod. And you have a spring pinion out of anti -railer, railer ring, the handbrake link and link lo location notch, inner hole and outer hole. All right, deplete the air brake, uh, brake cylinder. If the piston with the two long, with the lack of the one half of the lock, known for the slack adjuster control rod five with the turn of the specific flange sleeve, not the four clockwise. If the piston travels is too short, unlock the one half inch of the um, lock nut three on slack adjuster control rod five and turn the cylindrical flange sleeve nut four to the counterclockwise. Four, reapply the air to the brake cylinder. Five, when required piston travel is met, repeat, repeat turnable one half lock nut clockwise against the cylindrical flange sleeve nut four. Turn against any other um, 55 foot pound. Um, the TM brake assembly must be adjusted per brake plate, per batch plate, and shown on the car. If the piston travel is still outside of the operating range after the adjustment of the cylindrical flange sleeve, it is recommended that you perform a slack adjusting test to be performed to determine if the device is in accordance with the outline in the AR pamphlet number SAM C1299. 7. The car is not, on, not to be released from service until the piston travel is within specified range. 2. The brake cylinder removal. The measure all the sure 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 all the air to believe with the brake system preclude personal injury. Refer to figure two of this procedure. Remove the brake cylinder hose for the brake cylinder air flange face with protect all exposed piping to the dust and contaminants. Remove the truck and under car over the if possible. Alright, um this shows the figure two. Um, warning, do not truck bump the slack adjuster trigger. If bumped, the slack adjuster could activate and suddenly the let out of the rack extension could all occur at the rear of the jaw. Personal injury may result. The activity of the slack adjuster illusion will have the nut lock nut three with the slack specific flange the sleeve nut with the four remove the bolt nut for the slack adjusting control rod. Also the screw five eighths of an inch by two inch bolt um ten D and thread hole with the slack adjuster housing weldment ten. Remove the cotter pin connection one with the slack adjuster control pin rod two. Remove the control rod pin remove the cotter pin connection ten B of the slack adjuster trigger pin ten A. Remove the slack adjuster trigger pin ten A and the slack adjuster ten for the four. The handbrake truck only remove the cotter pin twelve with the transfer link pin thirteen. Remove the transfer transfer link thirteen with the handbrake lever fourteen with the handbrake transfer link with the handbrake lever out of the handbrake shot bracket. Remove the cotter pin connections nineteen twenty seven with the transfer twenty pin with the, or with the strut. Pin 28.
Warning, protection should be also be taken with the heat damage to the cylinder dust boot. Remove the transfer pin 20 with the cylinder strut pin um, 29 with the transfer level 29. Remove the cylinder strut pin 28 from the transfer level 29. Remove the spring eight and the spring pin 18 from the cylinder 25. Return the push rod. It's only 33. Remove the one half inch lock nut on the top side of the cylinder bracket from the one half inch T-headed bolt. Then remove the underside of the compression member. Remove the two five eighth of an inch hexa bolts and remove the cylinder of the brake beam 27. No, the transfer level 29 slack adjuster 10 hand brake length 30 and the slack adjuster control rod may be slide to the slide of the bolt side of the bolster win and window in order to gain easier access for removal of the cylinder. The DMX brake cylinder should be retaken with a design repair facility to be dismantled, clean, necessary parts replaced, oil tested for Wabco operation, and maintenance publication number 42511. Brake cylinder must pass the stated operational test before placed back into service. Installation of brake system cylinder position. Um, the cylinder 25 of the brake beam 37, the insert the non cleavage and push rod assembly 33 into the rear of the cylinder. Insert the rubber anti rattling ring 38 inside the cylinder body 25. Align the three mounting holes of the cylinder with the holes with the compression member on the brake beam 37, the hole of the strut pad from the top side to the inside of the two 5 8 of an inch hex bolt. So the 24, secure the 5 8 of an inch lock nut 23 from the underside. Do not tighten at this time. Install the 1 half inch T head bolt from the underside of the strut. Secure with 1 half inch lock nut tighten the torque to 5 8 inch lock nuts to 110 foot per pounds and um, the lock one half inch lock nut for the 85 foot pounds no for 12 inches um, 12 inch 304 to 8 304.8 um, millimeter cylinders cylinders um, Please install the one half inch T head T head bolt twenty two from the top of the cylinder bracket to the one half inch lock nut twenty one. For the installation of the brake beams, proceed in section seven oh for the control rod pin which will be inserted in a later step. Recurrent reconnect the transfer level twenty nine with the strut and cylinder twenty five. Install the transfer pin twenty and the PT indicator arrow eleven from the control rod pin two with the control and the central strut pin twenty eight. It may be necessary to overcome the slum slight center on your ball with the angularity insert with the central strut pin. For the handbrake, tr handbrake trucks only replace the handbrake lever into the handbrake strut in the bracket to screw the handbrake transfer link 30 to the handbrake lever 14 with the transfer pin 13. Install new cotter pins 1, 12, 19, 27 respectively into the control rod pin and on the hand pin brake transfer pin to the push rod transfer pin with the center strut pin 28. When installing the brake cylinder, I only proceed to the section 8 to set up the piston travel and the slack adjuster rack extension. All right, for the slack adjuster removal, the extreme caution must be taken when working with the slack adjuster since it is under heavy lo spring load. Warning, do not bump the slack adjuster trigger. If bumped, the slack adjuster could activate and sudden let out of the bracket. Extension could occur at the rear of the jaw. Personal injury may result. Once again. Install a 5 16th of an inch 12 inch. 5 16th of an install 5 16th by 2 inch long locking bolt in the threaded hole of the slack adjuster housing weld. Then deactivate the slag adjuster loosening one half inch lock nut three from the cylindrical um, flange sleeve nut four with the remove of the bolt nuts for the slack adjuster control rod five. Remove the counter pin connection one with the slack adjuster control rod pin two. Remove the control rod pin, remove the counter pin connection six, eight, and ten B from the transfer pin seven, nine, and slack adjuster triangle pin ten A. Remove the slack adjuster trigger pin ten A from the slack adjuster ten. Remove the transfer pin seven with the transfer cylinder transfer level twenty nine. Slide the trigger end job with the slack adjuster 10 with the, away from the cylinder tra transfer lever 29 so the trigger 10C of the free of the control rod 5 and slide the control rod 5 with the cylinder transfer level 29 with the cylinder side with the slack adjuster 10 remove the trigger 10C from the trigger end jaw. Remove the transfer pin with the 9 with the non-cylinder transfer level 36. Note the return push rod 33 with the non-cylinder transfer level 36 may be slid and slid to the side of the bolster window in order to easier remove of the, removal of the slack adjuster 10. Carefully remove the slack adjuster 10 entirely through the bolster window from the service replacement note the slack adjuster service must be performed at an air or sort of the guy repair facility and appropriate repairs the test must be made with the boat before reapplying slack adjuster brake rigging Installing of the slack adjuster. Carefully install the slack adjuster through the bolster window with the drag and end job with the slack adjuster toward the cylinder brake beam with the cut the plastic stripping of the strap from the slack adjuster front and front, and front jaw. Align the non cylinder transfer lever 36 with the proper slack adjuster jack handed with the jaw hole with a pin with the transfer pin 9. Note, please refer to the proper TMX installation or assembling drawing as in the air ask 
the your air bra brake supervisor with the correcting pinning of the nine cylinder thirty six the inner with the outer hole with the slack adjuster and rear jaw with the two figure two insert the trigger then see with the trigger end jaw all slot with the slack adjuster ten for the cylinder and pot side then slack adjuster control put rod five with the trigger ten C with the both slack adjuster ten and the control rod five should be signed out with the cylinder transfer of the level thirty six simultaneously insert the trigger pin ten A through the trigger pin hole on the slack adjuster ten. Circle the slack adjuster the cylinder transfer twenty nine with the transfer pin insert the control rod pin through the control rod clevis in the small hole cylinder transfer level lever turn the uh, cylindrical flange sleeve nut the four with the clockwise on the control rod five with the sleeve side and over the toward the trigger of the slack adjuster turn the nut clockwise at to a one quarter inch of the gap at the left in between the nut and not in the trigger note for the installation of the brake beam for seed item 7.0 Move the slack adjuster locking bolt 10 deep to the figure 3 with important failure to the slack adjuster may occur but the locking does not completely remove. Warning, do not bump the slack adjuster trigger. If bumped, the slack adjuster could activate and suddenly let out with a rack extension could occur with the rear of the jaw. Personal injury may result. Insert new, insert new collar pins 1, 6, 8, and 10B with the control rod pin 2 with the transfer pin 7 and 9 and the trigger pin 10A. The, floor, the slack adjuster installation proceeds to section 8 to set up the piston travel and slack adjuster rack extension. 6. Brake beam removal to remove the selection 2.1 through 2.8 brake cylinder removal to section 4.4 with the 4.49 slack adjuster removal. Remove the cotter pin connection 31 with the transfer level pin 32. Remove the transfer level of the pin in 20 to 32 from the push rod assembly 33. Slide the push rod assembly 33 with the anti rattler ring 38 with the, through the bolster window. Remove the transfer level 29 through the 36 of the brake beam 37. The handbrake trucks only. Remove the handbrake transfer link 30 from the cylinder side transfer lever. Or the brake beam should be removed using the normal shop practice. Note the brake beam and the handbrake side with the replace the necessary with the removal of the handbrake shot bracket 17 with the brake beam 37 and loose the one half inch nut lock nut with the one half inch D head bolt. Handbrake shut nut shut bracket must be replied with the replacement brake beam 37 with the brake beam assembly for the wear crack and distortion. If damage replacement immediately. No, check the brake and heads of the brake beam with the crack of distortion wear on the pinhole with the brake shoe with the mounting of the surface. The damage of the brake head must be replaced before returning the brake beam to service. For replacement, brake head with the recommended of the brake beams and be returned with the Carbell Westinghouse for reconditioning. Brake heads are furnished from 12 degree, 14 degree, and 18 degree end guide angles. Installation of brake beams. The brake beam should be installed with the usual normal shop practice. Know that make sure the brake beam wear of the end of the guides. Brake heads are within specified limits before applying the truck for handbrakes. Trucks only position. The handbrake transfer link 30 into the notch for the transfer level 29. Position the over the notch side with the top towards the cylinder. It is insert the transfer level 29 with the handbrake 30. If applicable, for the slot with the brake beam 37. Install the brake cylinder as not in not earlier. For install the slack adjuster noted earlier, insert the non-cylinder transfer level 36 with the brake beam 37 on the return push rod in the side with the sharp refer to the covered brad spray and when they ask the air brake super to look at the installation drawings determine where the side of the non-cylinder transfer level is located towards the slack adjuster. Secure the slack adjuster 10 with the return push rod 33 left with the transfer pin 932. Please refer to the proper TMX installation assembly with the drawing ask as your air brake supervisor with the correct pinning with the non-cylinder transfer level 36 to the inner and outer hole with the slack adjuster rear jaw with the C figure 3 with the screw all the pins with the respective cotter pins 8, 31, 4, 34. Secure the slack adjuster control rod 5 with the transfer level 29. Slack adjuster control rod pin 2. Install the trigger pin 10 with the A with the, with the slack adjuster 10C with the trigger pin 39 with the cotter pin connection 10B with the slack adjuster trigger pin 10A. Secure the pins with the respective cotter pins 1 and 10B. Seven times screw with the cylindrical flange sleeve nut with the four no fun nut four out of the control rod with the cylindrical side with the toward the trigger with the slack adjuster until the one one quarter away from the trigger and install the one half inch lock nut three and install two five friction composition brake shoes proceed to section eight and set up the piston treble slack adjuster rack extension. Initial setup of the piston travel track, slack adjuster, rack and extension. For row to figure three, um, eight one with the car e truck with an necessary to chin between the side frame and the rolling bearing to prevent outward axle with the wheel movement. Warning, do not bump the slack adjuster trigger. If bump the slack adjuster could have activated and suddenly let out the track of the extension could occur when the rear child and personal injury may result. 
Caution, install the thimble to the type of the strain with the attachment of the regulated air supply with the cylinder air flange. Slowly apply 50 PSI with the cylinder with the release of the air reel apply at the times and 50 PSI with the 3.45 bar apply with the measuring record piston travel and release. Just as necessary, if the piston travel is too long, turn the cylindrical flange sleeve nut in the four clockwise under the control rod of five. If the piston travel is too short with the turn not caught on clockwise, measurement should be three inches plus one quarter inch, 66, 66 plus 66. Um, 66 plus or minus 6 millimeters. This achievement the actual piston travel to 2 inches plus or minus 1 quarter inch, 51 minute plus or minus 6 millimeters. See figure 1, 8, eight and 4. Quat caution. When required piston travel is met, that repeatable secure the cylindrical flange speed sleeve nut with the 4 and lock nut 3. Nope. Note to measure the slack adjustment rack of the brake system should be applied the shovel the time the rack extension read may be taken when applied. Within 50 psi with the 3.45 bar applied with the measure record slack adjustment rack which is the space between the rear and the jaw of the, of the housing of the slack adjuster. The slack adjuster jet rack extension should be one one quarter inch or one three quarter inch if measured from the inside of the cap of the rear jaw with the one quarter inch or three quarter inch to three quarter inch if measured for the end of the cap of the rear jaw. See figure three in service builds in 2002 for details. If the slack adjuster rack is too short the release of the brake assembly short and the return of the push rod by turning it into the conical clockwise facing the back of the cylinder if the rack is too long length of the push, push, return push rod 39 turn it into the clockwise in the facing back of the cylinder then return the push rod 39 can be lengthened and shortened to achieve the proper rack extension at approximately one to one adjustment ratio Secure the return push rod assembly 33 with the cylinder inserting the spring cylinder spring 18 into the hole of the cylinder 25 with the push rod ensure the anti-rattler ring 838 into the containing cylinder by the pin 87 when rack slack adjuster rack error is met with the replaceable tight in the hex jam nut and 4040 with the until until the lock washer 41 is closed. For the handbrake trucks only with the air blight inserted with the handbrake level of 14 with the pocket of the handbrake strut back at the 17 line with the handbrake level of the container hole with the hole in the handbrake transfer link with the insert of the transfer pin 13 secure with the cotter pin remove the shim with the outer board shim side of the, all the journals check all the braking connections to ensure the proper cottering with the position of the trucks under the car body attached to the handbrake chain to the cylinder hole within, within 50 psi within the cylinder verify that the piston travel slack adjustment rack are correct and many of the necessary adjustments. 810 on cars equipped with the two four wheels. It must be necessary to make a manual adjustment of the TMX trucks mount and brake rigging to ensure the automatic slack adjusters will be capable and compensating for additional wear. When placing a worn damaged wheel set with the will be turned down to the door, two wheel wear set with the return push rod must be, be lengthened one inch allows. Measure recorded with the length of the push rod with the spring of the pin 18, the center line of the transfer pin with the lot, the lot loosen the hex nut with removing the spring pin with the push, so that the push rod can be returned um, returned by the hand of the out with the rod push rod adjuster 42 with the turn the push rod with the counterclockwise out of the adjuster until the rod has been lengthened one inch. If the two turn down wheels applied with the push rod must be lengthened two inches or to the maximum length of the push rod. See the note below. Which reapply the spring pin. Reapply the spring pin 18. Retighten the nut. In reverse with the new 36 inch wheel set that is installed with the plate to turn down and the worn two wear wheel the push rod must be against the shortened one shortened by one inch per wheel set and the maximum length of the return push rod must be not exceed 35 inches for standard return push rod part number 660414 the non-standard push rod will vary when the maximum length of the non-standard return push rods are designated in 660414-XXX important. After complete TMX truck brake mounted brake assembly is appropriately secured on the truck, the trucks are placed onto the car body. The brake test is, is is being made to ensure the TMX assembly functions properly on the total vehicle brake system, including both air and handbrake operations. All right, B, UBX truck mounted brake assembly installation instruction. Refer to the figure UBMX installation installing drone to determine the UBX equipment combinations being applied. UBX brake beam are to be installed during the truck assembly normal to the existing shop practice optional mounting the brake actuator the brake beam prior to the truck assembly. Mount the brake actuator to the brake beam and line the two right rear mounting hole of the brake actuator to the two corresponding holes of the brake beam at eight. Align them one side mounting hole of the brake actuator 19 with the one of the corresponding hole of the strut side pot. So the side pad of the brake actuator by facing the outward outward by the bolster of the, using two five eighth of inch hex nuts through the top side of the compression member divesting the rear of the mounting of the porch for the brake actuator with the two five eighth of an inch hex nuts seventeen. Do not tighten all the at this time using a one and a half inch T head bolt 
and 16 from the underside with the central strut pad fastening the side mounting within one half in hex nut lock nut lock nut tighten the torque with the two five eighth and eight five eighth in hex nut 17 to 110 foot pounds and one half in hex and lock nut 15 with 85 pounds from, um, foot pounds Caution when tightening and applying the torque of the UBX fastener, always use the mechanical means adjustable wrench box and uh, wrench and socket, etc. to avoid personal injury. Do not manually hold fasteners. Install transfer level with the six with the brake actuator brake beam, the hand truck with the hand, hand brake truss installed with the hand brake cylinder transfer level with the brake actuator brake beam with the insert of the lever six or two or one and through the slot with the brake beam sharp with the brake actuator side with the actuator or secure secure lever the six and one through one transfer pin fourteen with the leg actuator push rod club with the hand brake trucks and install them with the washer fill between the top side of the lever the strut lever the left slot opening between the secure lever the sixty one brake beam strut for the center strut pin. No, if it must not be necessary to overcome the slum slight actuator bail, um, angularity to insert the central strut pin. Insert the slack adjuster tan with the drill bolt bolsters window with the track bit, track end jaw with the slack adjuster toward the actuator brake pin with the cut the plastic shipping the strap with the slack adjuster front jaw. Install the transfer level of 29 non actuator brake pin. The transfer level of 29 will determine the level of the ratio to refer to the cover brake pay. Bogart badge plate. Ask your air brake supervisor for the locate installation drawing to determine when, uh, which side of the transfer level 29 is located with the track slot adjuster 10. Insert the transfer level 29 through the slot of the brake beam strut with the return push rod side. I'll align the center hole with the transfer level with the strut and hole pin with the strut and the center strut pin 28. All right, UBX installation um, instructions. Since the rubber anti-rattling with 20 foot ring, 25 and on the non club is ended with the return push rod assembly, 27, push the anti-rattler ring 25 with between the spring and put pin hole with the end of the return push rod, insert the end of the return push rod, but with center of 27 in the bolster window, insert the rear of the brake actuator 29, ensure the anti-rattler ring is between the spring pin hole with the actuator bar, figure two, figure two, line up the pin hole with the return push rod assembly, 27, the spring hole, pin hole on the bracket, bracket, actuator bracket, in line with the Rod push, return push rod, claw this hole, and the transfer lever pin of 29, hold the secure lever, hold the secure with the transfer pin 26. Align the transfer level 29 with the brake, select, brake proper select, adjust the rack, and then draw the hole with the secure with the transfer pin 9. Please refer to the proper UBX installation assembly drawing and ask your air brake supervisor the control pinning of the transfer pin lever 29, inner and outer hole with the select, adjust the rear jaw with the suit figure 2. Insert the tra trigger twin ten seat with the trigger end jaw of the slot with the slack adjuster ten with the brake and actuator side of the next ne slide the slack adjuster of the control rod with the into the trigger figure ten seat with the both the slack adjuster adjuster ten with the control rod five with the should be side of the transfer level six to one simultaneously insert with the trigger pin ten A through the trigger pin hole with the slack adjuster ten secure the slack adjuster with the transfer level of the six to one transfer pin seven insert the control rod pin um, two with the through the control rod club with a small hole with the transfer level six or one turn the slip flame sleeve nut one four clockwise onto the control rod five and the sleeve slide toward with the trigger on the slack adjust until the one quarter inch gap left between the nut and the trigger Move the slack adjuster locking bolt 10B with the C, the figure 1 surface built in 2002. Caution now on the slack adjuster trigger to 10C. If bump the slack adjuster could activate and suddenly let out the rack extension could occur at his rear jaw at the rear jaw. Install the two-inch brake shoes. The shim the outside out was outboard side of the all the general, bear, general bearing shoes one eighth of inch shim and prevent it with outward on wheels so your axle movement. Attach regulated air supply to the brake actuator inlet flange and slowly apply 50 psi to the brake actuator. Caution: This will activate the truck mounted brake assembly. All personnel must clear the slack adjuster brake beam brake shoes transfer levels and all other parts assembly. UBX installation instruction. Release the brake assembly, reapply the 50 psi with the brake actuator, with the reapply 54 psi with the brake cylinder uh, actuate, brake actuator with the European application for short piston travel application. Measure 3 and 3 quarter inch plus or minus 4 a quarter inch should be taken and achieve the desired piston travel for long piston travel applications. Measurement of 4.5 to plus 1 quarter inch should be taken to achieve the desired position travel. Measurements installed in figure 2 refer to the car badge plate. Ask your brake, brake supervisor to look into the installation drawings to determine the proper piston travel application. 
location. If the piston travel is too long, the turn the cylindrical flange sleeve not for clockwise. If the piston travel is too short, turn the sleeve the cylindrical flange sleeve not for counterclockwise. If there is one or two adjustment adjustment ratio with the cylindrical flange sleeve not travel to the piston travel. When required, piston travel is met repeatable turn the one half inch lock nut clockwise against the slap of the cylindrical flange sleeve nut for with the turn again for each of the 55 uh, other than 55 foot pounds. When air applied, measure the recorded slack adjuster rack. The distance between the rear jaw of the slack adjuster rear of the housing. See figure two. The slack adjuster, the slack adjuster should be one and a quarter, one and one quarter inch to one and quarter, one quarter and three quarter inch. Measure for the inside of the cap of the rear jaw, or one quarter inch to three quarter inch. If measure for the end of the cap of the rear jaw. See figure two. The surface bolts in 2002. The details if rack are too short. Release the brake assembly. Turn the return push rod to the counterclockwise. Is facing the back of the brake actuator. If the racking is too long, release the brake assembly. Turn the return push rod 24 to the clockwise. And facing the back of the brake actuator is approximately to one adjustment ratio with the return push radical clavicity to travel slack adjuster rack extension. When required, slack adjuster rack is immediately the repeatable line of the hole with the return push rod 24 with the hole with the rack actuator bracket. Insert the spring pin 21. Tighten the hex nut jam nut 22 on the return push rod 24 until the lock washer 13 is closed against the return push rod clevis. Remove the shim from the outside of all the journal ba- all end of the journal bearings. And you'll use the cotter pin 30 through 37. Cotter all eight remaining brake pin connections. To verify the actuator piston travel slack adjuster rack. And with the trucks installed under the car body, make any necessary adjustment. Ensure the thimble tab with the strainer of the 20 solve the brake actuator inlet flange prior to actually attaching the car brake cylinder hose and then the rest is pages for notes and if you were wondering what the uh, exercise was it was by AR designation top connection rods must be at a minimum of three quarter inch diameter and brake end of the car is generally designed designated as BN body mo- m- mounted slack adjustment is generally used as an actuator control rod to maintain proper piston travel brake lever dimensions may be found on the badge plate usually located close to the brake valves and your universal model F and uh, model 5, 5D and C1000 are equipped with the trigger pin locking bolt for safety.